I know, I lost it a long time ago, then went to Art said oh, wow. it all went away. Um, well, there you go, that's not far away. I'm from, well, I'm from Travolton originally, here, but the train's not far. Yeah. I like train, good for a, well, it used to be good for a night out. Golf. <laughs> yeah. Good for golf. Or golf. I don't actually play golf. I genuinely live in one of the best areas in the world for golf. I don't play golf. Also, don't fish. Steph's husband's a golfer. See, there you go. Yeah. Take him up there. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't play golf. The first time I tried to play golf, I hit someone in the head. Oh. Maybe you can give me some lessons. Probably a better idea. <laughs> so, <coughs> me. tell me about this show and how it came about. How can you got involved in it? Well, uh, Drew Baker, the, the director, got in touch just to ask if I'd be interested. And I was sort of like, oh, yeah. Um, I've never, because because the show's obviously never been put on in the UK, I hadn't really heard of it. Um, and he kind of explained who uh, Claude Michael Schoenberg was, and uh, and obviously the shows he'd done before, and I was like, oh right, uh -huh, yeah, that sounds amazing. And um, and yeah, he sent, I, I get sent through the cast recording for Broadway, and I was like, this is actually pretty epic, yes, I want to I wanna do it. So, so yeah, it just came about through Drew getting in touch with agents and whatnot, and then sending me loads of nice stuff and I was like yep I'll do it <laughs> and now you're here are you quite excited or how does it feel um it's only day four yeah <laughs> so I'm still a bit nervous because I'm still trying to try to cram things into my brain yeah. but um but no I mean the 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 cast um like the principals and the ensemble that we've got just now are absolutely phenomenal like even on day one I sat up the back and the ensemble were learning one of the songs and I did record a little snippet for social media and, uh, and I just thought this is absolutely phenomenal on day one like I can't wait to see how it's going to improve and also, there's also a choir coming as well so it's just yeah it's going to be epic it's, I and it, it, even in, in that room like listening to Rachel like, I've been a fan of Rachel for years Oof. like she's just amazing and um and I think it's just it's, it's a lovely thing to be part of and the good thing is is it because everybody's so nice it makes it such a fun environment to be part of so it's, it's good and tell me more about your character who you play in the show well I play the character of Tiernan um, so that's sort of the male lead in the show and I am Grace O'Malley's sort of love interest to begin with so we've been sort of childhood sweethearts and uh, we've grown up together but then throughout the show <coughs> I well, uh, no, I, sorry, Grace is forced to marry uh, Donald O'Flaherty. So he's, so they're like warring clans. So to bring the clans together, they have to get married. And um, and so I end up really hurt, <laughs> heartbroken, and uh, and a bit downtrodden. But I um, I think that it, it's a, a, a pretty epic love story, really, um, with a lot of challenges in it. And my character just gets the brunt of that, unfortunately. But uh, it, pro it produces some really lovely songs. <laughs> so it's all good. It's all good. And how does it feel to be singing at the Coliseum? Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just amazing. Um, I I remember we we done the press call for this um, back in October, maybe? Yeah. Back in October, I think. And... I decided I was like they were like oh let's go into the auditorium I was like nope nope I want to I, I don't want to go in until I'm gonna sing stuff and I just I, it's just such a an iconic building it's just got a, a magical just a magical quality about it and I I think to be for me this is my West End debut and to be making it in the Coliseum is just as is, is a, is a one of those we dream come true moments again and, and it's it's great because even for like folk coming from home it's nice to be able to say I'm in the Coliseum. It's just nuts. <laughs> like even my parents, who aren't really musical minded, know what that is. So it's it's good. Have you seen shows in there before? No, never. So that's that was why. So um, the first time I went in was for for this <coughs> to do the press and things and the photos and and that's why I said I don't want to I don't want to go into the auditorium because I've never been in yeah. and I want the first time I go in to be for the show. That's so. Yeah, I think we might be rehearsing in there, but I'm <laughs> so as long as I'm singing on the stage, I'm all right with that. But yeah, it'll be it'll be phenomenal. It will be phenomenal. Although Matt did tell me that some people are coming that are pretty 
quite important. So I won't say no anything because I don't, I don't know if they're actually coming yet. I don't want to shoot myself in the foot. But he was, he was like, oh, such and such is coming and such and such is coming. I was like, right, stop there. <laughs> if you tell me any more, I'm not going to do the show. Because, <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, it'll be, it'll be brilliant. It will be. And it, I mean, as I say, it's day four and I'm loving it. And uh, it can only get better. And it's for a great cause, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's... Um, so Drew's sister um, has leukaemia. And so we're raising funds for Leukemia UK as well, which it, it adds to the, the sort of niceness of, of the whole experience for everyone, I think, because not only are we all, like, there's a lot of people in the cast that are making their West End debut, and uh, it'll be the first time in the Coliseum. So for all of us, that's a magical thing in itself. But to be doing it in order to raise money for such a great cause is, is something that... It's, it makes you warm and fuzzy inside. Do you know what I mean? Like it's 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 a nice thing. And um, and Drew has kind of said like right from the start. You know he's kind of hammered it, and it's like it's, it's for charity, and you know it's like, it's going to be a good evening. But he wants us to all have fun and enjoy ourselves, and, and it kind of shows in the sort of ethos and the energy in the room as well, because it it is all really nice, and everybody's been easy to work with and easy to get on, and it's just good. I mean, I'm, pr- I'm probably the biggest diva in the room. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm definitely not. <laughs> like, give me my water! <laughs> no, uh, I'm definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. But, uh, but no, it's, it's good. It's good though. And everybody's phenomenally talented, so it's, uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Amazing. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you, Thank you very, very, very much. much. This is a weird thing. I'm I know. Like, I'm going to wear Keep spinning round. <laughs> Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. Yeah. It's a pleasure. Enjoy the show.